Hi I'm Monk and this is The Monk Way, let's look at an easy way to analyze stock charts, the simple moving average, using this basic indicator, we can predict how a stock price might move in the market, I'll use a real stock example to show how this works, and explain exactly how to calculate this number, subscribe and hit that bell for more technical analysis videos, I make them every day, and leave a like if you hate math, have you ever watched a stock video, and instead of the normal line, you see 2 or 3 on the graph, those are the simple moving averages, extra lines traders use to try to predict the future movement of stocks. It might seem intimidating, but they're actually very simple to use. A simple moving average is as it sounds, the average movement of a stock price. Let's see how these lines are calculated. You can choose any number for the average, let's use a 5-day average as our example. We just take the stock price for the past 5 days, and divide it by 5. Let's use a simple example of a stock with 10-day prices like this, from 1 to 10. The first average we can get is 1 plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, divided by 5, which is 3. 3 will be the first point of our simple moving average line. On the day after, we cut off the previous day's price and add the new day. 2 plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, is 20, dividing by 5 for the average, we get 4. The second point of our 5-day simple moving average is 4. Continuing this pattern until the last day with a price of $10, we can see 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because it takes 5 days to start the line, this line can only start on the 5th day till the 10th. It's as simple as that, this indicator basically uses the stock price for the previous days. If you set the average at 50 days, it'll use all 50 numbers. 100 days will use all 100 numbers. The current indicator price uses the stock's current price, all the way back to the number of days you set for the average. Now let's calculate Apple's simple moving average using a 5-day average. These are Apple's real prices for the past 5 days. 5 days ago it was $188.58, all the way up to $190.24 today. Adding all of the past 5 days of prices, we get 941.09, dividing by 5 for the average, we get the newest moving average of 188.21. According to this chart, we found the correct number, to get the previous day's moving average number, we just move one day earlier, it's as simple as that. If we set it to a 50-day average, it'll use all 50 days of Apple's prices to get the average. Now we know where these numbers come from, how can we use it to predict stock movement? You must understand that since we're only using past prices of stocks, we can't really predict future prices, nothing can do this. What we can do is use patterns to see when a stock might be ready to spike up or move down, we're predicting the overall trend using the past prices, we used a 5-day moving average, but usually traders will use 50-day, 100-day, and 200-day. The longer the days, the more smoothed out the line, giving us the long-term trend or how the price moves. The shorter the days, the more volatile the lines, giving us the short-term trend of the stock. The easiest way to use this indicator is to buy when a price goes above the average, for example, looking at Apple's chart, they're currently going above the 50-day average. This might mean the stock is bullish and will continue going up for a while. Because a price is above the average, it means something that's better than average is happening. If it goes below the average like over here, it should mean it'll keep going down for a while. We can also use two averages to get more information. Let's put the 200-day average and a 50-day average on Apple stocks. As you can see, the 200-day will move slower, while the 50-day will be a bit more volatile. Traders like to look for crosses for when the two lines touch. We can see for Apple, it crossed right here, where the 50-day average went above the 200. If the shorter average goes above the long term, it means the stock is very bullish and it's a signal to buy. If the short-term pattern is moving high like that, the stock is getting traction. The opposite is also true as we can see here, the 50-day crossed with the 200-day but went downwards, meaning the short-term price is going down. This could be used as an indicator to sell. Looking at the past three crosses, this seems to work very well. We're basically comparing the stock price right now, to the average movement of the prices, it's like comparing your score on a test, to the average of all your tests, if your score is higher than your average score, we can guess that you'll do well in the future, if it's lower, we might think you'll keep getting lower scores in the future, we can't predict what will happen, but we can use the trend to get an idea, another benefit is many traders use these trends to buy or sell a stock. A self-fulfilling prophecy where the price moves with these trends, because traders all follow them. For example, traders looking at Apple stocks might see this 200-day moving average line as an important line, so important that many people will buy if it gets near it, so the stock stays healthy. Going below this long-term average is not a good sign. Let's look at another example stock in Micron. In this two-year chart, we can see the cross happening last July. This is when the 50-day average went over the 200-day, a good sign to buy in. And over the next year, the stock has gone up by a lot, the price hasn't hit the 200-day line so traders are really supporting that average, if you were holding this stock and see the red 50-day line going down and hitting the 200-day line, that might be a good indication to sell it because the short-term average isn't doing well. 
This is the type of analysis I will be using in my stock market group, where I update you on every single buy or sell I make in the market, along with a list of stocks I'm interested in buying soon, and my real stock portfolio with $200,000. Recent wins include AMD at a 37% profit, Facebook at 6%, and PayPal at 4% so far. I'm buying some hot stocks in the coming weeks so join now, look in the description and get a 50% off coupon for life. This only lasts for one more day so don't miss out. Subscribe and hit that bell for more technical stock analysis. I make them every day to keep you educated, and leave a like if you like line charts, keep watching to analyze the best stocks, the monk way.